Ground control to Major Tom. Ground control to Major Tom. Since the beginning of space exploration, NASA has been arguably the most successful space program in the world. Recently, NASA is in decline and has not been very productive. Also, with the increasing national debt, it seems as if the United States may not be able to fund NASA to the amount that they need to accomplish what they would like to. Many Americans worry that without a productive NASA, American space exploration will fall way behind the space programs of other countries. However, this is not the case. This is Major Tom to ground control. I'm stepping through the dark. And I'm floating in a most peculiar way. Rather than a government-funded space program, another possibility for American space exploration is to be run by many private space companies. Throughout the last 20 years, private companies have grown more and more successful. Unlike a government-funded space program, private companies have a small budget and must make money to stay in business. This is why, rather than just focusing on research and exploration, private companies will explore different opportunities in space, such as space tourism and commercial satellite launches. Many people believe that private companies cannot receive the funding they need to be successful. This is why many people would prefer a relatively unproductive NASA to private companies. In an interview with an employee at an aerospace company who wishes to remain anonymous, the interviewee stated that the private companies cannot control the space industry simply because there is currently not a market for the private sector. However, the interviewee believes that private companies will play a role in the future with a partnership with government-funded programs, but the industry will never be fully controlled by the private sector. If private companies are able to receive the necessary funding, there is no doubt they will be able to be successful. Once private companies receive initial funding, they will be able to have a steady income. The income will come from space tourism, commercial satellite launches, and more funding from investors, universities, or other companies. Also, private companies will not have as great expenses that NASA has. For example, the private company SpaceX has announced a rocket that will launch for one-fifteenth the cost of a NASA shuttle. Jake Anderson, who worked at NASA's Mission Control in Houston, was interviewed to see opinions on private sector space exploration from the perspective of a NASA employee. I worked as a flight controller in the space shuttle program, uh, and I actually worked with two different groups. Um, one was the called the Emergency and Environmental Systems Group. Uh, I did one semester with them, and then I did actually three semesters with a group called Guidance, Navigation, and Control. So they're the, just the guys that you see working in the Mission Control Center, um, like watching Apollo 13. They have the support of the government, which you know, it's usually a pretty reliable funding source. Um, you could get into debates about taxes and, you know, whether government funding of things is good or not, um, and that, you know, gets into politics. But that's one of their main advantages is just the consistent funding from the government. Um, disadvantages is just like anything with the government, you have a lot of red tape and bureaucracy. Um, and that, that's without a doubt. They're much slower because they have to go about things very methodically as the government they represent the U.S. Um, they, they just don't have many missions to build upon. They don't have any manned missions, obviously, um, it, for what you and I would think of as a manned space mission. They, I mean, they, they have reached space um, in manned missions, but nothing on any, anywhere near the scale of what NASA has. So that's a big disadvantage, but obviously you have to always be looking towards the future. So for the future, they really don't have any big disadvantages other than having a, a lack of stuff to build upon. Um, but one of their main advantages is the competition that you can have in private industry. I and mean, that's, that's such a great thing. You can have four companies, four large companies, that NASA is saying, hey, why don't you guys go try to accomplish this goal? And now you have four different organizations competing against one another, and they have a lot more incentive to come up with a, the, the best solution. Um, to answer your question, I, 
my guess would be that in the next 20 years, private industry is going to be more successful um, or more evidently successful because they're the ones who really need to start proving themselves. And a lot of money is being funneled towards them so that they can do that. So it may not be evident that the government is being successful in the next decade because they're kind of waiting on, on private industry to, to do so. NASA is in decline and it is important for an alternate solution for American space exploration to be found. Currently, there is not a great availability for funding for the private sector. NASA must play an important role in the space industry until private companies can be successful. The best way for space exploration to progress is to have NASA maintain their partnerships with private companies to stimulate them and help them grow. When private companies are able to be successful, NASA will be able to play a minor role in the industry. Once this transition has occurred, private companies will control the space industry. Take your protein pills and put your health.